Hello friends, for making this project we need just only few things. One smartphone, one ESP32 cam, one Arduino Uno. For programming this ESP32 cam, and some jumper wires so let's get started first of all we need to program this ESP32 cam port using this Arduino Uno most of the people use the TTL converter to program this ESP32 cam but in this video I show you that how to program ESP32 cam board using an Arduino Uno. Now let's see the circuit diagram that how we can connect the Arduino Uno with the ESP32 cam at the time of uploading the code. Now follow the circuit diagram as shown on the screen carefully. First of all, for giving the power supply to this ESP32 cam, we need to give the positive and negative from Arduino Uno. Then make sure that the, at the time of uploading the code in this ESP32 cam, the D0 of this ESP32 is need to be ground at a time of uploading the code only. And also the reset pin of Arduino is also need to be ground. Now let's join the TXRX of this ESP32 cam to the Arduino Uno. Now for uploading the code in this ESP32 cam using Arduino Uno, connections are completed. Now let's see that how we can set up our software settings. So friends, after doing the connection of our ESP32 cam with our Arduino Uno, let's jump to our programming code. Connect your hardware with your PC. Open Arduino ID. So now let's see the code. In this code you need to download the three libraries. The Wi-Fi client, Blink library, and the ESP32 board from the board manager. For the ESP32 board, first of all you need to paste the link here in the preferences. This link are given in the description box. So you can copy from there. Now after paste it in this preferences, just go to the board manager in the tools section it takes few minutes to update now search here for ESP32 you can see only one option so download it means install it from here the latest version that's it now you only need to select some settings in the tools section of this Arduino IDE. Now go to tools. In the board select ESP Rover module. Upload speed 115200. Flash frequency 40 MHz. Flash mode QIO. Partial scheme huge ABP code debug level none and port select here which you give on the Arduino Uno 
and programmer as AVR ISP. So after selecting these points, let's upload this code in your Arduino Uno. Friends, it took one minute to upload the code in our ESP32 CAM using Arduino Uno. So let's see the whole code now. This code is a mixture of Blink and the camera web server. So you need to uncomment this camera model AI thinker if you use ESP32 cam that is shown on the screen. Then these are the some inputs and outputs. This LED means the flash LED which is on the ESP32 cam module. This button is for incoming input and this lock means which we gave to our relay module and here you need to edit your SSID and password of your Wi-Fi and here the authentication code which you get on your email ID This is void capture option which we call when our button is low means when we when our button gets low input then it's called the, this void capture loop which takes the picture and sends to our blink application. Now friends, after uploading the code in our ESP32 cam, let's set up our Blink application. Download this Blink application from the Play Store app. Then open it. Here I already make one project in which I set up this image gallery, one button for relay or lock and the notification button for giving the notification on our mobile phone you can see all buttons here this is the image button which I use for taking the image from our ESP32 cam this is the simple button to operate our relay and here you can see the notification button as I installed it, so here is it and installed. Now let's set up these all three. Now click on this image gallery. Here you can give the name to your image gallery. Here you need to set your virtual pin according to the code. This one is V1. And then simply it saved. Then for button, write the name here and then select a virtual pin here and then select the data which it gives to our ESP32 cam. And also select push or switch according to your code. Write name on the switch and text size and color now in the notification section we need to do nothing so now let's check it that how it works now friends after doing the complete connection now let's give the power to our project
After giving the power, you can see that the blue LED is blinking. It means it's searching for the network. And when it's stable, then it means that our ESP32 cam is successfully connected to our given network. So now let's check it. This is our mobile phone. Now we receive the notification on our mobile phone. When we touch it, we directly goes on our screen. And when we operate this button, then our lock gets open. Just like this. Let's see again. This time delay you can set in the code. So friends if you like my video then subscribe my channel and also share this video to your lovely family members. Thanks for watching Robotics King Mohit Arora.